Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial on the difference between machine learning and deep learning. The best way to explain this is with an example. So you probably come across an app that allows you to take a picture of your face and test out different type of makeup items or you can take a picture of someone and then it helps you find similar clothes. So the first step to any of these apps is to recognize what the app or the product or the artificial intelligence is actually looking at. So is this a dress, is it a pair of pants, is it a jacket, is it a person's face, what is it? So in this example, we're going to look at like how machine learning and deep learning is used to enable your app or your AI to understand what is it, it is looking at. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover through what is machine learning, what is deep learning, why all of a sudden it is everywhere, and how do you pick one over the other. So in a broader spectrum, if you think of artificial intelligence as the main umbrella, machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. That's how AI is, has been happening in the last 20 years. But deep learning is a new subset of machine learning that has come into existence in just pretty recently and it has revolutionized and changed the way artificial intelligence works. So what is machine learning? So algorithms that give the ability to computers to learn from data and make predictions. So what does that mean? So going back to a previous example, let's say you have an app and you're, you take a picture, how will an app tell or artificial intelligence tell that is it looking at a mini dress? versus a pair of pants and we're going to use this as an example so what do you do in machine learning is you when the pictures are uploaded you define what is the definition of a dress so basically you will tell the computer that a dress has a different type of neck size it has shoulder traps it probably doesn't have any zippers it has holes for arms on each side of the neck so you're basically defining the features of what a dress looks like and the same thing you will do for what a pant look like. So it has a split for the legs, it has opening on the top, which is size can vary from in diameter from you know 24 inches to 45 inches. You know, it possibly has buttons, it has belt buckles, or it has can have a belt, it has pockets in the front. So you, when we as humans look at a pair of pants, how do we tell that it's actually a pair of pants? We look at these things. So you are basically defining this for the computer so computer and artificial intelligence can actually create a model of what is the definition of features of a pair of pants or a pair of um, um, dress is and this is the way you can define the features you can tell you can label different parts you know you can have the distance between the shoulder it could be from here to here things like that so once it, it is done so the typical flow for machine learning goes into you upload images or data could be sound could be anything you define what those features are then you create a model and you can have hundreds of models depending on which what your product is product is so if this is a fashion app you know you have jackets you have pants you have swimsuits you have shorts so there are like hundreds and hundreds of items so each one of that item can actually have its own model which defines its features so you can have multiple ones and now the machine learning algorithm is ready to make a prediction so when you upload a next picture or expose it to a next item it looks at all those models and try to define what is it actually looking at and this is how the machine learning part actually makes predictions so for example if you showed her a picture of this image if you look at the image and look at the model it created based on the features you told her that this is actually this is how dress is supposed to look like and it'll give you hey yeah this is a dress and if you showed us image like this if it doesn't follow the typical model or the features that you define for a dress it's going to give you an answer no this is not a dress so this is how machine learning works and you have been seeing additional examples of this for you know years so spam email for example is 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 actually a type of machine learning because you define what is the definition of a spam email so for google for example you will tell hey any email that has nigerian prints in it or it has some viagra word in it or it has multiple links and multiple images or the sender's name or the sender's email is not defined so you are defining the features what is the definition of spam email and when the model looks at hey this is this checks like 80 percent or 90 percent of the features that that i would think that this defines a spam email then it will start putting it into your spam folder same thing went with youtube video recommendation that it looks at which videos are you watching, which who's the author, how long is the video, 
what is the video on which topic the video is on you know does the video has sound versus um, just instrumental or just, or just music and what kind of music so this is what YouTube was taking into consideration and based on that it will recommend the next video to you so machine learning had existed for a long time and this is how it has been working you probably without even realizing it so now let's get to our next section which is what is deep learning so as we talked about the deep learning is a subset of machine learning so if you want to define deep learning as deep learning is a subfield of machine learning concerned with algorithms inspired by structure and function of the brain called artificial neural networks so if you look at our our brain we have billions of neurons and every time you look at something or you learn a new piece of information the neurons the electricity is firing between neurons and that's how it is establishing connections so in the future when you come across a similar looking image or sound or whatever information that could be it looks at those connections and helps you define what you're looking at so so with deep learning is it based on very similar things so in deep learning what scientists have created is called artificial neural network which is a layer of neurons that a piece of information goes through and then it defines what it is so we'll look into it what exactly but that's the basic um, composition so as we looked at for machine learning we looked at in the past you know typical model you upload the pictures you manually label those features and then it predicts what it is so manually labeling those features and definition is still prone to human error uh, because if you it will take a lot of time and if you're not able to define it correctly it could be an issue so what the best benefit of deep learning is you don't have to do this manual labeling of features anymore so what deep learning does is its neural network automatically creates its own model and automatically defines what it thinks are the features or the model or the definition of a dress is or a pair of pants is and then it learns on its own so what you are doing is you are actually just uploading the images and you're telling it this is an image of a dress but you are not telling what is, is a feature of a dress and you upload thousands of images of dress in different conditions you know from different poses like side pose front pose back pose and based on that it automatically creates what is the definition of a dress or what are the features of the dress and then it creates a model on its own and this is how the neural network basically works like that you upload images and these are the layers of different neurons through which the information flows and with each subset of these layers it creates a different definition or a model of what is it looking at and in the end it gives you an output and defines what it's looking at so why is deep learning everywhere all of a sudden so in order to do deep learning you basically need three things you need lots of label data as we talked about in the beginning that when you're uploading images of dresses you have to tell it like, this is the image of a dress or this is image of a pants so all this data needs to be labeled and it, second thing you need you need high performance gpus which basically can process this tons and tons of information at a faster rate and third you need sophisticated algorithms to help you define and make sense of what it is looking at so what did happen in the past was we did not have enough label data and the high performance gpus were extremely expensive so within the last i would say four to five years you know you probably heard of big data and all this information that so much data has been created and people have been labeling it one a little bit little and now in the last four to five years we have huge access to label data and that has enabled us to process and dive into deep learning at much faster rate than initially it was possible so how do you pick one why do you pick, want to pick machine learning versus deep learning so as we talked about before it there are three things that works so lots of label data high performance gpus sophisticated algorithms so if you have access to all three of these then deep learning is a great option for you but if you are missing either one or two or more of uh, these then machine learning is probably best option because label data extremely expensive if you don't have access to it then your deep learning algorithms is not going to be very effective so then machine learning is probably a better bet for you so here's a quick comparison chart it gives you a little bit more understanding of what the difference is so the amount of data required for machine learning to happen is smaller but deep learning you need huge huge amount of data the features as we talked about before you have to create your own features you have to define what a dress is like it has it's this it varies from you know it has a place for the neck it has arm 
things for, for the, where the arms are supposed to come out, things like that. Deep learning, it automatically defines what are the features of a dress is and learns on its own. Time, it takes less amount of time to activate machine learning and takes a long amount of time to activate deep learning. So a long amount of time for deep learning would be a couple weeks to a couple months, depending on how sophisticated your data is. And for machine learning, you can probably do it from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Then again, it all depends on what you're trying to achieve or how sophisticated you want your algorithm to be. Accuracy machine learning does pretty good accuracy, but deep learning has the best accuracy you can possibly imagine. Debugging, it's easier to debug machine learning because you are creating the features. You actually know how the information is flowing. And if the, the output is not correct, you can always go back and change it. Deep learning, majority of the model creation and features and deep learning happens in the neural network. A neural network is like this black box that we don't really know what's going on. So it becomes very, very tough or nearly impossible to debug a deep learning network. Machine learning, again, it is less expensive because you don't need that much label data. And that's what makes actually deep learning more expensive because labeling data is, is extremely expensive to get. Uh, decision path, as we talked about before, you know how the information is flowing, that you upload images, you're defining your features. It creates a model, you create a model, and then it makes predictions. So the decision path is known, but in deep learning, you don't know what the decision path is because every time the information flows through different layers of neurons, it creates its own set of features and creates its own model. So you don't know how, what the decision path is and how and where and when and why deep learning came to that particular decision to predict it. So this is a quick comparison of what machine learning and deep learning is. And if you have any questions, please do leave them in my form of a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer. And hi, this is Vishal Khalil from Fashion Marketing and thank you so much for watching this video. And please do subscribe to our channel if you see fit. And thank you very much and have a wonderful day.